Hello everyone. Welcome to the program overview of the Health Partners Power Up School Challenge. The school challenge has been supporting elementary schools across Minnesota and Wisconsin for over 10 years, encouraging thousands of students to get curious and excited to try for five fruits and veggies and move their bodies in fun new ways. So at its core, the Power Up School Challenge focuses on the three Power Up themes, eat better, move more, and feel good. And what we do is build curiosity and excitement for students around those themes. There are many reasons why schools, classrooms, or youth groups might choose to participate in the school challenge. We know that getting a jump start on healthy habits and preferences early in childhood sets the stage for a lifetime of enjoying fruits and veggies, moving joyfully, and feeling good for students. The Power Up School Challenge is different than other programs. It's unique with a special focus on providing fun, pressure-free, and positive opportunities to explore and discover fruits and veggies, ways to move, and ways to relax and recharge. And that can make all the difference for students. Power Up is an invitation to teachers, schools, and youth groups to support student health and well-being, and we do that by providing tools and resources that build excitement and curiosity to eat better, move more, and feel good. So a little about how the program works. Over the course of one month, at any time that month, teachers guide students through just one activity related to each of the Power Up themes, eat better, move more, feel good for a total of three activities that month. It can be all on the same day, it could be once a week, or it could be, uh, you know, one day every week. It's up to the teachers to decide when and where and how they would like those activities implemented in their classroom for their students. The school challenge has flexible activity options to make the program easy to incorporate into classroom or group activities. Teachers and youth leaders can choose an activity, video, or lesson plan from the online Power Up resource galleries or use one of their own ideas for eat better, move more, and feel good. To support participation, program communications are de delivered to leader inboxes each week of the challenge. With fun activity ideas and links to popular resources, these emails serve as an implementation guide throughout the challenge, keeping everyone on track. We have an online activity and resource gallery for each of the themes that are filled with fun games and activities to choose from throughout the challenge. We also have easy to follow lesson plans that are made available to guide teachers or educators through each theme if they choose to use them. We have classroom posters and student magazines as print materials that are made available to schools throughout Minnesota and Wisconsin. Print materials are available in English, Spanish, Hmong, and Somali, and are limited based on availability. Teachers and youth leaders can also earn an incentive for their time and participation, uh, wellness dollars for their classroom, as well as school-wide wellness dollars. Classroom teachers receive an Amazon gift card that gets delivered to their inbox after completing the challenge and taking our post-challenge survey. There are school-wide wellness dollars that are also available, up to 200 wellness dollars, and that is sent to schools after a principal or school leader completes the school assessment survey, telling us a little bit about the wellness environment of their school. Many schools decide to make the challenge their own. That's part of the flexibility and adaptability of the program. So some schools may choose to participate together for collective energy and excitement all around the same month. If this is something that you would like to do, a school leader or principal will communicate with all classroom teachers who will be participating which month that they would like everybody to sign up for. Some schools also like to pair the school challenge with other wellness activities that are happening. Sometimes it might be jump rope for heart or a walkathon. Maybe there's a wellness week happening at the school. The school challenge blends really nicely with other school activities. As mentioned, teachers and youth leaders can choose how to make the challenge their own by choosing which activities to implement with their class or group. For the Eat Better activity, this slide shows a variety of options that you might pick from. You can show an Eat Better video from our online activity and resource gallery. We also have plenty of food science experiments that can be easily implemented into a science lesson. 
We also have our fruit and veggie lesson plan, all about show and tell and talking with students about their favorite fruits and veggies. In addition, we have a variety of tools and guidebooks to help you work with nutrition services at your school and lead a fruit and veggie tasting for students. For the Move More activity, you might show a Move More video, again found in our online activity and resource gallery. Or you can choose to play an active game with students, getting them up and moving for a few minutes and having some fun. You can easily have students stand up instead of raise their hand for a day. And another way to implement the challenge is to format it so the PE teacher leads all students through the challenge instead of the classroom teachers. For the feel good activity, again, options include showing a feel good brain break video from our online activity and resource gallery, doing a simple feelings check-in and asking students, how do you feel today? Maybe using a feelings chart. You can have students write or draw things that they are thankful for each day in a gratitude journal, or again, format the challenge at your school so that an art or music teacher leads the challenge or a librarian leads the challenge for all the students. Lastly, this is a snapshot of our program timeline. Again, you can choose any month that you would like your class or school to participate. The deadline to sign up is by the 15th of the month prior to the month you'd like to participate. During your participation month, you can expect to receive program materials by the 15th of the month if you've opted in to receive print materials. You'll complete the three activities at any time this month and take the post-challenge survey by the last day of the month, telling us what you did to lead your class or group through the school challenge. After participating, you can expect to receive your gift card by the 15th of the following month. If you have any questions, you can learn more online at powerup4kids.org slash school challenge. We have all the information you need online, as well as an FAQ page to learn more. We're also happy to answer questions via email at info at powerup4kids.org. Thank you.